Automated External Defibrillator, or short AED, is a portable electronic device that is used during cardiopulmonary resuscitation. In the case of cardiac arrest, the victim collapses because his heart no longer effectively pumps blood. However, there are several underlying heart rhythms which can lead to this state. They are so-called shockable and non-shockable rhythms. The purpose of an AAD is to automatically diagnose cardiac rhythms and treat the shockable ones with defibrillation, the application of electrical therapy, also known as electrical shock. Ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia are such shockable rhythms. They are treated with defibrillation, which stops the arrhythmia and allows the heart to re-establish an effective rhythm. Systole, on the other hand, is a heart rhythm which is not treated with defibrillation. Therefore, it is important to know that the use of an AED will not always result in recommendation and delivery of an electrical shock. Also, during the resuscitation, an AED might not initially recommend shock, but this can change after subsequent rhythm analysis. Although defibrillation represents a definite therapy for shockable rhythms, during the course of resuscitation, it might have to be performed several times. It is also extremely important not to forget to perform CPR, regardless of shock delivery and the underlying heart rhythm. AEDs are very safe and simple to use by anyone, including laymen, even those without any CPR training. Today you will find them in places like corporate and government offices, shopping centers, airports, restaurants, casinos, hotels, sports stadiums and others. If you see a person collapse, do not hesitate to use a public access AED. Your actions might save somebody's life and in most countries of the world, individuals are protected from liability for damages that may occur from their use. There are several major manufacturers and models of AEDs. But since they are all very similar and easy to use, there is no need to learn how to use each of them. We will demonstrate the use of two models made by Philips and Zoll. Other prominent manufacturers include PhysioControl, Cardiac Science, Heart Sign, Defibtech, and others. Each AED basically consists of two parts the main unit and electrode pads. Most main units have a built-in visible indicator showing that the AED is ready for use. Such an indicator is visible immediately without the need to open or turn on the AED. In the next video we will use an AED trainer by Philips to demonstrate how a typical AED works. Some AEDs will turn on automatically once you open them, while on others, like this one, you will need to push the on button. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Immediately as it was turned on, the AED started providing audio prompts, instructing the rescuer what to do next. Its first instruction was to apply pads to patient's bare chest. Right in, pads connector. Next. Applying pads to patient's bare chest is rather simple. Each manufacturer has very simple and straightforward diagrams which depict where to put the electrodes apply on pads. the chest. Plug-in connector. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Once pads have been applied, the AD automatically starts recording and analyzing the patient's heart rhythm. It is important not to touch the patient at this point, because this could interfere with heart rhythm analysis. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. Press the orange stay clear, button Stay now. clear, everybody stay clear. Shock delivered. Paused. After analysis, the AED might or might not recommend shock depending on the underlying heart rhythm. In this case, it recommended shock 
and charge its capacitator automatically, instructing the rescuer to deliver shock by pressing on the orange button. Most AEDs will not deliver shock on their own, but require the rescuer to do so. However, there are some which will both charge and deliver shock on their own. It is extremely important not to touch the patient during shock delivery. The rescuer must assure no one, including himself, is in contact with the patient before he pushes the shock button. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. Start CPR. After heart analysis, regardless of shock delivery, you must resume CPR immediately. Start delivering 30 chest compressions, followed by two rescue breaths. If you are untrained, unable or unwilling to deliver rescue breaths, perform continuous chest compressions without stopping. After a certain period, typically after two minutes, the AD will again advise you not to touch the patient and start analysis all over again. Keep following its instructions and delivering CPR until professional help arrives or the victim starts showing signs of life like breathing or moving. If it is possible, change rescuers each two minutes because the task of performing chest compression can be rather tiring. Shock delivered. Paused. Start CPR. Using the Zoll AED Plus model, we will show you how all AEDs are basically very similar and easy to use, even for the first time. To convince you even more that these devices are nothing to be scared of, in the video we will use a model localized to Croatian language. So even while traveling abroad, you should not hesitate to use a local public AED. Regardless of it speaking another language, you can always rely on its visual instructions. You will notice the Zoll has somewhat different pads, but again, this is not a problem since supplying them is easy after taking a look at the joints. The rest is all the same. Keep performing CPR, stay clear of patient during analysis and shock, which you deliver by pressing the flashing button. Shock preporuche. Rescue is Shock. 